Hey Vixens, it's Foxy here. So today I'm going to be going over a key aspect of your model horse films, and that is the cast. This video is not going to go over the casting of your models to characters, but I do plan to make a video on that later. This regards to the voices in your film. Now a lot of model horse movie directors prefer to play all their characters on their own with no vocal assistance, and that is totally fine, though variety in voices can help people distinguish better between characters and makes the film a lot more interesting to listen to. And your cast can be from all over the world. First, I'm going to give you guys a disclaimer and something you need to keep in mind when casting. All of your cast are real people with real lives. You need to understand their situations and you cannot be too harsh with them. Professionalism is obviously important when communicating with your cast, though pressing rudely for lines when they've given you a valid excuse for being late is really unfair to them. If they're trying their best, give them credit for that and be kind to them. If, of course, they're slowing your production down and haven't been in contact with you, though you've tried to politely do so, it's only fair to yourself and your production to let them go, and you should never feel bad for doing that. Just always make sure to politely excuse them from your production. Harsh messages are not cool, friends. Harsh mess- harsh- 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 harsh me- harsh? I can't say that. Harsh messages- messages. Harsh messages. You get what I'm trying to say. They're not okay. Always keep in mind that they're volunteering their time, and if they're in contact with you telling you when they'll have them, be patient with them. Now, on to how to get your cast. The best way to get your cast members is by hosting a casting call on YouTube or other social media sites. To host a casting call, you'll need to have various ways the actors can contact you. Supplying email addresses and social media links is a must so people can ask questions and send you their audition tapes. What are you going to need to include in your casting? Hmm? First off, you're going to need your guidelines and rules. Is there adult content in your series that people need to be accepting of? <coughs> Vengeance rain. Will you need your lines on a rush deadline frequently? Do you want people to have clear mics or are you going to be easy with the quality of their lines? Whatever you want from your actresses and actors, you must let them know ahead of time so they know exactly what they're getting into and what you're going to ask of them. Make sure your rules and guidelines are also professionally written. No spelling mistakes, no chat speak, and try and use full sentences. Professionalism in your cast call will help people know that you're serious about per, your per, 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 per. okay professionalism in your casting call will help people know that you're serious about your production and may even attract bigger names to audition for you if they know you're going to be dedicated to your project you're also going to need to... I didn't even mess that up like that was perfect and I still decided like you know let's just stop you're also going to need to supply information on each of the characters available information that is key to include is the character's name their gender their age a short summary of their personality the voice type that you're looking for any accents you may prefer and any additional information you feel that the actors and actresses will need to know to audition for the character the best they can that was long and I nailed it the more people know about the character's traits and personality the better they're gonna be able to portray them. When selecting your cast, it's always important that you check out other series that they've participated in as well as their other auditions. It's important to make sure that they're going to be reliable and they're exactly what you're looking for. Sometimes you can't see someone's full potential from one audition. There are right and wrong ways to advertise your casting call and invite people to audition. Private invitations are always nice, but make sure you are professional and kind in your wording. If you don't act serious about your project, you will not be taken seriously. Proper grammar is always a must. I get lots of invitation to a series that are simply I have series, join polls with nothing spelt fully and no additional information. Be confident in your work and others will be attracted to you. Another wrong way to advertise is to go onto another director's page, videos or posts from them and make announcements for people to audition for your work. This is rude, as it's taking away from something they've taken the time to create and you will definitely not be taken seriously and often seen as rude for doing so. Oh my god, I have something on my nose and it itches. Asking people politely in private to advertise for you is something that you can do as well, but try and ask people who are within your following range. If you advertise for them, they can advertise for you. You both benefit from each other and this is a great way to meet people and make friends as well. The best way is to have your cast email you their lines as audio files. Getting them into your editor is something that you need to learn how to do. Your actresses can also email you links to unlisted videos of their lines and you can download them from YouTube audio download sites. I'm not gonna list those because I guess downloading music and stuff is illegal and you can do that through there so um I don't condone illegal activity. <laughs> no one does that. What? Make sure their videos are not public because you don't want your script out in the world. Also make sure they're not private because these sites are not gonna let you download private videos. And that's that! 
I hope this video was helpful to all of you and casting in your films. Make sure to be kind to your cast and those who audition because they're taking their time to make your project that much better. Also, if you're auditioning or part of a cast, be kind to the director as well. Making a film or series is extremely hard work and they take a lot of their time and dedication to do it. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful to you in casting your films. Also, subscribe to my channel for more content and comment down below anything else you want to see about making model horse films. Have a lovely day, Vixens. I love you all so much. Shine on! <laughs>